in its sixth season and more popular than ever, the most watched show on television. I don't understand. Why Why do you think it's so popular? I think I know why. I, don't, I think it's popular because it shows on every airline and you're forced to watch it. And so <laughs> they force you and then you get off, you go, I saw this show on the plane and it just keeps building the audience. I don't know, it's been amazing. I think it's because nerds are cool. Nerds are yeah. cool. I feel like we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. No, we no. definitely made Calm cool. down, Gelman. We yeah. know. We know. He's like, yeah. Yes. Lottie, put me in. I'll be myself and I'll fit right in. <laughs> You're not a nerd, Gelman. You're a loving man. Okay. Um, now, what's going on this season with Penny and Leonard? You know, they're always up and down. They're, what I love about how they write this relationship is it's never, it's always back and forth. And I think it's really realistic with two, with two people. So it's not always perfect. They break up. They get back together. I've said since the pilot that I want them, whether we go to season 10, to end up together. That would be, I think that they should. Um, right now, they're kind of together. They're kind of not. There's things that go on with the show, but, you know, it's funny. Every time I read a script, I never know what they're going to be doing or where they're going to be. So, on and off. On and off. Do you I don't think know. that starring in this show has made you smarter? I think it's made me less smart, actually. <laughs> Honestly, I get more confused as the weeks go on. I'm like, wait, now that we have Nobel Prizes people there half the time, I have no idea who they are. They're, I'm like, I, you'd think, you know, we'd have these massive celebrities. No, it, the celebrities are, you know, right. Nobel Prize winners. That's what's on our show. When I watch the show, I find myself going, is that, wait, is that true? Yeah. Um, like, I'm constantly going, wait, that's not true, yeah, is even it? like all the, like in the living room set, there's a lot of boards up with things written on them. And it's all, it's all true and written, because we get people that write in that say, you know, ask those questions. So we have actual scientists and people on set who... Well, just remembering the dialogue has to be incredibly tough. Yes, my dialogue is very tough. <laughs> well, you know, your, your dialogue very. is so tough. It's so tough. Well, we're going to watch you in action okay. as Penny okay. on the Big Bang Theory. Okay. Watch this dialogue, everybody. Hey, Sheldon, you're always full of fun little facts. Where did the expression, got your ass handed to you, come from? Don't know. I wonder if it's from, like, ancient Rome, where they'd actually chop somebody's ass off and then go, here. You know, to appease Luzeronius, the god of losers. I am not a loser. The Pictionary is not a true test of any real intelligence or skill. In all fairness, Pictionary has verbal skills, visual skills. It's a pretty well-rounded game. A lot of big talk from a man who can't draw a chocolate chip cookie. Here's Thursdays at 8 p.m. on CBS.